to another episode of Two Brunettes and a Gay here on Radio Italia Uno at 7.6 FM or live on the podcast. You're a tradie now. You're panel beating like we said I last week. I am panel beating. Yep. Indeed. Now, it's a hot summer night here in Adelaide. It's time to get La Festa started because Pink is in town, ladies. <laughs> no, thanks, Tay Tay. It's a cool summer without Tay Tay, but it's a great summer with Pink. And you know, I have never been to see Pink before in my whole life. Are you kidding? I've never seen her either. I've never Stop it. I hate you right now. I really hate you right now. I'm so jealous. But you know what? You are owed that opportunity to see Pink. She is... I've seen her several times. She is amazing. And actually, the the first time I saw her was at the Rumba Festival uh, back in the 2000s at Adelaide Oval. So it's like a full circle moment. If only I could go. If only I got tickets. But no, here I am. Absolutely. Let's hope they do some ping tributes. And speaking of fringe, second week, we're in it. We've been going and going and going, much like our weekend. Yep. No, well, that's my liver, really. (laughs) And my kidneys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I saw a fabulous show Friday night. I saw Farns, the Farnsy tribute show at uh, the Arca Bar, starring Sean Holton. An absolutely incredible show! Incredible show! I Farnsy is my icon. Like I love John Farnham. Like aside from Madonna and Michael Jackson, John Farnham's my man. Right. Yeah. It w- but the, the, the weird thing is the crowd was really, you know, varied in the sense of the age demographic. So it was actually really good. Speaking of Australian artists, Deanna and I went to Michelle on Sunday afternoon called Mixtape Australia, which was presented by Michelle Pearson. She was a lead vocalist. And it was basically a tribute to Australian artists over the course of the last, I don't know, 40, 50 years. Awesome. Rock music oh, cool. Oh, I would have loved that. Really, really good. Like, 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 Farnsey was there. Amazing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Yeah. Plus, 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 you know, from there. But um, I was surprised to see how young, I guess, the band members were. I was super talented. And they were just, they were on it. Crazy good. Absolutely super talented. We saw a session last week, another phenomenal show. That was a dance based show, which is the type of show we always get to see. So it was so good to see something different. And we actually have Fiona from the Delinquent Creatives, who actually presented that show on our show tonight. So we look forward to speaking to her. We also got to see one of the greats, Limbo the Return. All three of us went to see that last Thursday night in the Garden of American Delights. Big shout out. Yeah, they knocked us over with a feather, or 50 million of them, to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> 50 million feathers. What a show. a show. A show, not to be missed. I mean, the show was lit, but then again, so was the pyro right in front of my face. I felt like my eyebrows got seized. <laughs> 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 It's not good in an intimate tent, let me just say. <laughs> but it was crazy good. How good was it? So good. But speaking of Limbo, when we went to go and see it, obviously, it is making a return. Hence the name Limbo, the return. And it got us to thinking while we were there, if February and the Day Station were to make a return, what would we call it? So stay tuned after the break and we'll chat with those names. <laughs> Oh, 
if, if we're not we're not promising anything. I've gotten too used to being a you know face for radio. <laughs> Oh my God, it was absolute gold. My one man show would be called simply Aaron Collis, the musical fruit. <laughs> and then I continued it on with the more on fleek, the more I root. <laughs> And I could do it like it could be like a tribute to gay singers, you know, gay male singers over time. Yeah. Peter yeah. Allen, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I might trademark that now. Michael. George Michael. Yeah, Adam, Adam Lambert. You know, some amazing singers. Absolutely. So, you know, I thought that would be my one man, one man show. Celeste, what was yours again? Okay, well, you guys <laughs> decided that if I were to have a one-man show, my one-man show would be called Resting Bitch <laughs> Spot on. Would be. I, this is your end? No, because you can totally go through all the stuff that gripes you because you have such a long list of things that gripe you. Yeah. No, <laughs> and you'll hear the things that get up your goat after the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> 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 if I were actually have my own show, what would I, like, what would I call it, not what you guys would call it? Mm. <laughs> you know what came to mind? Or well, I'll cut you. That is silly. It's not true. I'm just pointing to the real creator here. No, but, but all three of us have, you know, contra- contradictory opinions, yeah. I think. You know, each week they change. Mm-hmm. Listen to the shows back. Like eleven o'clock at night or something. Fifty Shades of Gay. It just has that ring to it, you know, literally. (laughs) The different shades of me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm getting the the most grey hairs I've ever got in my life at the moment. Yeah. They're coming in full force. It's what you can't even tell. Perfect. Yeah, I am a joke. One of the show names that we desperately wanted to use years and years ago when we were doing our show, and we did decide on Bottoms Up, which I absolutely love, because it's one of my favourite shows ever. Yeah. We did decide on Bottoms Up, but what was a close second was two minutes a day, Cops and Tackles. And I feel like that would have been a great show because so much of our show is drinking. Your Bottoms Up, we did drink on stage. Yep. And we told stories about ourselves. 
We did. It's all gods and tails, like perfect. I love it. It's the, it's the perfect mix. And then we could drink, yeah, like you said, we could drink cocktails on stage, we can enjoy ourselves, we can sing a few songs, four people will come along. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Chat GPT gave us as well. <laughs> Glamour, giggles, and gay. Uh, Glamour, giggles, and gay. I told you that my, one that I picked before, I think, could, could be Yours was yeah. genius. I'll do all the shit. Yep. This is a great one. Shades of Brunette, a fabulous cabaret. You know why? Because we are Shades of Brunette. We're punkies. <laughs> you are. We're not actually Brunette any longer. What? You're probably Aaron. That's right. I'm happy to sit in the background. <laughs> Yeah. Out of that one. Yeah. Gay. That's the one that Deanna just said. It doesn't really hit the spot. It doesn't, doesn't hit the G spot. No, no. the giggle spot. That. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, hopefully one day we will come back to Fringe. And uh, again, I think look out on the radar, ladies and gentlemen. In a few years' time, it'll be two brunettes and a gay. We're too old for this shit. <laughs> But you know what? I enjoy complaining. That's one of my greatest things in life, I think, is just to complain. To whinge. Yes. See, I do have a guilty pleasure. The other week I said I didn't have one, but I do. It's whinging. You're becoming an old gay with a goat. A gay with a goat. I love the little banjo music, you know, because it's on the farm, it's up the goat. Yeah, do it again. Can I just ask you girls, what note was that you, you think the, the goat was screaming in? <laughs> was it a G? Sure, let's go G. No, but we thought we'd, we, we thought we'd expand the segment this year because it's not just things that get up my goat. Exactly. So, no, who, doesn't? who doesn't? So, we thought we'd get on our high horse and talk about this live on air. Yeah. And so, we want to start with this one, right? Because yep. we're talking about fringe. Yes. We're talking about the town, literally. The cost of the fringe is the fringe. Oh. And we're talking about the fact that we're going to have a fringe show. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Self-serve. Self-serve. Not express. Okay. Hang on. Can we just define that? Because self-serve should be express. Well, I think express is two items or less. Yeah. Express is two items or less. But self-serve, like, I do my full shop with the self-serve. Not. Oh, you get up my goat, Diana. Yeah. Is, is it a lost art form? Bagpacking. Yes. Bring back trained bagpackers. Is that an art form, though? Is that maybe I, too much? Hey, so much I worked at Coles. I knew how to pack a bag. Did I was you? very good at packing bags. I pack heat and I pack bags, baby. What, that's going to be my outburst on the weekend. If I see any of you idiots out there doing your full shop in the self-serve checkout. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, it's going to be out there. Yep. You know, you, you, know, you had one. You said you went house, you were house hunting. You still have a bloody house hunting. Oh, God. Well, yeah. How long has this saga been going on for? Look, it's like, it's like, it's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what it's doing really well. It's yeah. very, ever boring. Anyway, the reason that I've been on the house hunt for so long is because I keep getting, what do I call it? House catfished. House <laughs> catfished. How, how, house catfished. It, now, so what is house catfishing? What is that when you see a, a picture of a house and it doesn't look anything you like it? A house and you think, that looks all right. And you look carefully because I've learned, you know, after seeing so many houses that I'm like, okay, the, the pictures always make it look better than what it looks right. Yeah. So I look at the pictures, you know, zoom them in, Carefully have a look, and, and people out there who've been house hunting like me probably know exactly what I'm talking about yeah. right now. And then you go see the house, and it looks like crap. It's a wide lens photo. It, it is, house isn't it? Night, and it looks white and clean and new, and it looked like it was full of like light coming in from the windows, and it was just like nicely renovated. I swear, I went in there, and the house was falling apart. Like there were people upstairs. While we were downstairs, like there was people downstairs, and you could hear the roof about to fall on top of you. Oh, and no. it was not white and bright, it was dirty. <laughs> and I am so it was brown and dark. Catfished. That, oh. ladies and gentlemen, is what gets up to my goat. <laughs> I, th- I think they're, they're very relatable, those three. I definitely think so. I think we'll, we'll talk about to our listeners as well mm. over the weeks. Get it off your chest. Get the goat out. Get it off your chest. If you complain this about us, we're not going to break the radio. Welcome back to Two Brunettes in the Gay. Now, at the top of the show, we did mention that we had the fabulous Fiona Smith joining us on tonight's show. <laughs> so, you and your panel beating. Get your panel together, girl. <laughs> Is that why you got a huge smile on your face, Deanna? <laughs> oh, but the fabulous, the fabulous Fiona Smith, unfortunately, can't make the show tonight. So, uh, unfortunately, something's happened to Fiona, and she's uh, had to do some extra rehearsals for her show. Extra rehearsals, but definitely go and check out the Lincoln Creative Show, the Delinquents, which is only starting this week. This definitely week. Go and check it out. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, indeed. Support local artists too. Yeah. 
there's lots out there. There's lots out there. But, Dana, I know, well, look, it depends on whether you're listening to the podcast or listening live. If you're about to eat, probably put your food down, right? Because you've got a... Real quick in the next maybe 50 seconds, because, Deanna, you've got an interesting food story that happened to you. I do have an interesting food story. You know, I mean, look, for our listeners there, if you've had this, this before, I'm sure you have had this conversation with your friends before. Have you ever talked about weird food combinations? You know how some people have really odd things that they like to eat? Mm. I don't know if I want to hear it. Am I going to go green? You you just have those weird things that one day you get a craving for, and then all of a sudden when people are like, that's disgusting, you're like, no, try it. Yeah. So this particular thing I did try because I am a vegan and it's not vegan. Okay. Anyway, but I'm sitting there with my friend up in the Gold Coast. I went on a quick, you know, impromptu trip that last weekend. Went up there with my friend, staying with her. Anyway, we're sitting there, and she was like, oh, you know what, I really feel like a snack. I'm going to make... Favorite childhood snack that uh, I used to have in New Zealand all the time. Don't look, you're gonna think it's disgusting. And I was like, okay, what food combination? Like, what is this? And so she was like, well, firstly, it has to be bread, but no, it can't just be any bread. It has to be Vogel's bread because she's from she's a Kiwi. She's from New Zealand. Apparently, Vogel's bread is a big thing. Is it a brand or a type of bread? I think it's the brand of the bread. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like the brand is is Vogel's. Okay, not sponsored. No, but you can you, sponsor. But yeah, if you want to sponsor us, mm. let us know. And she gets a piece of this Vogel's bread, right? And she puts butter on it. Okay, nothing up towards it. And then she puts bread. jam oh, yeah. on top of it. Okay, okay, that's normal. Butter and jam. Okay. Bread, that's fine. Mm-hmm. The next ingredient, avocado. Oh. Butter, jam, avocado. A nice okay. layer of avocado. So you've got a double spread there. You've got so the I've avocado got and the butter. Sweet to say, so with a bit of the topping. To, well, I mean, avocado is kind of neutral, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. It's like butter. You can yeah, just, yeah, it's kind of, yeah. you can go both ways. I don't know if it's quite as sweet. No, because you can have like an avocado chocolate milk, so it does actually go with mm. sweet. It's quite yeah. delicious. Right. Right. Okay, go for the final ingredient. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no, here we go. Do it. Because you're okay. vegan, so I'm wondering what this is. Okay. Oh, I don't know about tuna. Oh, this is not quite. Oh, oh, ham? Close. You're getting warm. Oh, okay. So it's it's a protein product. It's a protein okay. Sauce. Right. Close up. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Babe, what is it? Might enjoy that though, right? They like the so salami. Well, do, do you know what? That actually doesn't really completely put me off. Oh, you know, can, can, I, can I can I say that the, the saltiness of the salami oh, with avocado and jam it might be the perfect concoction. I could look. I could go as far as to try the butter, the jam, and maybe the avocado on top. Yeah. Was, you know, feeling frisky. Yeah. But salami and jam. Can't yeah. You know, Educate me. The, the trifle, and she gets the two pages glued together. So after trial, trifle is meat, and half of it is custard. Ah. Uh, so she's like, also delight, meat, good, custard, good. Match made in heaven. So you judged, but I grew up with you, and you have some very weird food combinations yourself. So let's, if you're going to put people on glass, let's put you on glass. Well, I mean, like, yeah, we got it talking, and I was like, you know what, as a kid, I was known as a who liked a weird food combo. Yeah. And one of my go-tos as a kid, um, because I hated risotto, all right? Being Italian, I didn't like pasta, I didn't like risotto. So my right. mom always like, what the hell am I going to feed you? Yeah. I used to instead get her to take just a plain boiled rice, you know, from the risotto, and I used to put in a bowl of plain boiled rice, ricotta cheese, and then ketchup. Oh. And I'd mix it all together, and I'd have ketchup. a bowl of plain boiled rice, ricotta cheese, 
Yeah, but it's probably smell the millet. Was it a particular was it particular ketchup or was it like a tomato sauce? No, no, just tomato sauce. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, oh, sauce. Oh, so interesting. you having uh, like pizza singles from the freezer. <gasps> Love pizza with singles. Sour cream on top. Yes. Sour cream. Yeah, pineapple pizza with sour cream on top. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm yeah, gonna have to try yeah. that. Okay, I'm keen to try that. Do you guys have any weird food combos? Look, I had a, I had a couple, but the, the the one I remember most is it was really weird. So, you know how people are into ham and cheese toasties, right? Yeah. I don't really like ham that much. So I am hammy, but I don't like ham that much, right? <laughs> so what I would do is I'd put a toasted apple and cheese sandwich together. Toasted apple, and toasted cheese. apple and cheese. So like the and sweetness you of the apple. The apple. Yeah, yeah, so it melts so in with the cheese, yeah. So you, it's delicious. It's the sweet and the savoury. It's know, like sweet and sour. It actually works. It actually works. It actually works. Work. It work because you get the, you know, like a cheese and fruit plate. That's exactly right. So it's kind of like a cheese and fruit plate. Like That's like right. This, but just in a sandwich. Just exactly. Hot fruit, hot fruit, hot fruit, hot fruit, hot fruit, hot exactly. fruit. There's my new friend show, Hot Fruits. 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 Hot
such a bitchy thing to say. Yeah, that's right. Are you ready? Okay. Unpopular opinion, first one, 2024. Okay. It's better for some couples not to have children. Oh, I agree with that. I don't know if if that's so unpopular. Is that unpopular? I think that there's some people that probably shouldn't have children. Yeah, some should be sterilised, let me say. More about business, less about love. Really? Well, maybe if you know, if maybe if you're Anna Nicole, yeah, back in the day, yeah. There you go, Jake. She feels like it's a formality. <laughs> yeah, I think Mark would prefer me to eat alone. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big slopper. Yeah, yeah. It's not a pretty sight. Yeah, I, I think. Do you know what's really weird at the moment? Everyone is into politics. It's stupid. I don't. Well, you just see it in the world now. Everyone's just so like you know into this party or this candidate or what's going on here and what's going on there. Social issue, this social issue, that. Get over it. Move on. Politics is crap. It's boring. Well, that is boring. It serves a purpose, but it's boring. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one's going to be a bit controversial because Celeste, this is this actually applies to you. Receiving gifts as a love language is just well packaged greed. Disagree. What? Only because if, if your love language is learning acts of service, first of all, yeah, I can mind gifts, but these don't have to be of monetary value. They're just thoughtful. Because you do like a gift. It's not even what you're saying. Would you say gifts? Do you say gifts? Do you say gifts? Do Words of affirmation would be my second. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very poorly. Well, don't we all? <laughs> yeah. A greedy resting bitch face. There you go. That's your new show. Yep. Traveling is a waste of money. Disagree strongly. Please. Anybody that said that has no money and they just want to make themselves feel better about it. There you go. That was Celeste. All right. Last one. You ready? All right. There's nothing wrong with walking barefoot in public. Oh my god. The worst is when you see them at the supermarket. Hideous. Them, the great unwashed at the supermarket. Because you like to ground yourself, right? Yeah, and I don't like shoes. I don't like to be so restrictive. It's not the walking barefoot thing, it's the it's where you are. Right? So if you're, you know, by the beach or you're in a park or whatever, like an old form walking back. Yep. It's when you're walking through, like, a bathroom, yep. a public toilet. Carolta a Park. <laughs> oh, it's foul. No. Right. Okay. Hygiene is always in vogue, let me say. <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.
very excited. It's very soon now, so just over a week. Just over a week to go. So Thursday, the seventh of March. Uh-huh. Now at the Arts Theatre. Yes. That's okay. Angus okay. Street. Angus Street. Yes. Yes. Now, what can people expect from the show? All live music and a beautiful, big, rich sound, um, massive power vocals, and a gorgeous. Sort of a gospel choir that we have brought in. We have brought in such these women in to come and sing with us. Oh, so it's sort of like, is that the everyday people? Yeah, everyday people yeah. sing. They sing with me on the weekend up in the Adelaide, the Adelaide Hills women, actually. Yes. Men are invited and welcome, but it seems to just magnetise women. Right. So, yeah. Where did the inspiration for the show come from? How did it come to be? Yeah, well, my my whole life, as a, even as a child, was all about, thank you, was all about Aretha Franklin. When people were listening to, I don't even know what they were listening to, I was obsessed with Aretha Franklin. And then last year, Dean and myself and a couple of friends were invited to put together a Tina Turner tribute for an exclusive club in Adelaide. I won't say who it is. But we did that, and then they asked us to add Aretha which was the most exciting thing of my life. And it, it just, it was incredibly successful. And we just said, we have to make this thing a thing, you know, bring in, you know, just make it bigger. So, yeah, Dean has helped me to put the whole thing together. And he's a legend. He's a true South Australian icon, Dean Kelly. <laughs> you guys have worked together many times. We have, yes. And you've got a good rapport with each other. We do. And with you, Aaron. <laughs> Just chuck in there a couple, yeah. couple of special times. Yeah. Elton John, Elton. That's right. Amazing times. Best of the Her Majesty. Just name drop there. Yeah. Yeah. Love it, love it. <laughs> so what can people expect? So people, obviously there's a, a, a huge band, a yeah. beautiful chorus. What are the songs people are going to mm. uh, expect to listen to in this show? It, it, it's 70 minutes of jam-packed music all of the all of the amazing you know you know there's legendary songs that you would really want to hear yeah. we can't fit absolutely all of it in but so all the legendary songs and there's a couple of beautiful little surprises as well some of the covers Ooh. that specifically Aretha was very very famous for doing yeah. she did her own style on certain things yeah. Um, mostly all the classic old funk, soul, 60s, 70s. But, of course, Tina and all of these artists kind of stepped into the 80s and, you know, beyond as well. So yeah. you got to do a little nod to that. So there's just so much. There's so, so much. much to cover. Mm-hmm. So much to cover. Now, obviously, with Tina Turner as well, there's a lot of flash and sizzle and stuff yes. like that. Can we expect a little bit of flash and sizzle? There are so many sequins. We're embracing. Telling you, (laughs) (laughs) the women have embraced this idea as well. So yeah, they're all yeah. We're not. It's not a traditional choir. I keep saying to them, you're not a choir, because we're kind of going to throw things at them as well. Um, It's in the tradition of like I grew up. My family would get together and someone would say, we're singing this song. So we'd all sing and pick a harmony, pick a harmony, pick a harmony. So it's not quite haphazard. There's been tons and tons and tons of rehearsal. But I said to them, just expect maybe a couple of surprises and be on your toes. And you are everyday people sing like everybody in the world can sing. We should sing together. Yeah. Music and singing unites us all. It's all about joy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dean, do you have a favourite number in the show? Um, I've got a few favourite numbers. Um, one of my favourites is You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. Yes. Yeah. And it's good because this... <laughs> We've got three great singers. That's one of the best things. I, I love working with them. It's great hearing them sing. And that is a particular favourite. And um, what's that other one? Well, we what do I say? What do I say? Ray Charles. Oh, Just oh, feels oh, really oh, good when we play. It sits beautifully. Oh, yeah. Now, these songs as well. So, obviously, Aretha, Tina, Ray, amazing, amazing singers. Yes. How do you prepare for something like this? Oh, my goodness. You have to be very courageous for, for, for one thing. Um, I I just love, you know what, I think the key with all of us in this band is, when I say this, the band is called Love Soul Deep, the love between us, it's massive, and we just bring the joy. So if you had ever seen any of these artists live, there would never have been any moment on stage with any of them where you didn't feel that joy. 
So that's what it's all about. And I felt that absolute joy twice when you were on stage. Oh. I absolutely loved it. I'm so excited to see you. So oh. where can everyone catch you guys? Okay. Uh, so we are at the Arts Theatre, yes. as you said, Arts Theatre, 53 Anger Street, 7th of March, 6.30pm. It's going to be absolutely magnificent and we encourage the crowd to bring their best selves loud, sing with us, let it all out, you know, like these beautiful artists did in their we time. At the Adelaide Fringe. Thank you so much. Lovely guys. Thanks for having us. It's been wonderful chatting with you. We're going to see the show. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> Massive, massive show. Yeah, there was a lot of whinging. There was a lot of whinging. We're trying to be more upbeat next week. Well, 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 I mean, what's different for us, though? There wasn't a lot of whinging, really. Yeah, well, let's make a goal. Let's try yeah. not to be so whingy next week. Well, we've got plenty of great stuff happening this week, so we'll come in in a good mood. Some of it came into a good mood today if you just talked about stuff that annoyed us. <laughs> We'll have a big review for that uh, yeah. next week. But we're headed back to Lightning tonight. I'm yep. so fresh. It's in the 2000s. What are you going to wear? Ooh. Are you going to dress up in like 2000s out, you know, clothing? Oh, that's terrible. Well, we're going to dress up in our best clothes. Yeah. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to be wearing our best clothes. And we're going to